Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about cryptography or otherwise known as the science of secret messages. So, in cryptography, it involves encryption and decryption technique. In encryption, it has a way to make the original messages obscure or difficult to read by the unintended recipient. However, in the decryption technique, has a way to revert back the encrypted messages into its original format in order to understand the message that is received. A practical example of this application is the uh, is for the military personnel sending uh, their message secretly in order to protect the uh, the message inside the the message being received so let's go ahead and create a new class here and we will call our class here as cesar so our example in this video will be about the cesar cipher uh, method a simple method of encryption it is named after julius cesar the emperor of roman a long time ago to send message to his military personnel using an encryption technique uh, uh, to protect his military Im important military messages so just hit finish and then delete this one so here we will declare a what's this a we will declare a variable uh, static variable static it's static final this will be int and maximum value will be 26 because uh, our encryption method here will be based on our English alphabet and our English alphabet has a 26 characters on it. Let's also create another static uh, character array uh, we, which we will call as alpha. Oops, alpha and this will be initialized to our alpha characters alphabet let me just copy this one and paste inside and the uh, next is our constructor cesar and then inside our constructor we will declare a for loop with the body so this will be int oops int uh, i equals zero and then i is less than our maximum value then increment i if it's true and then inside here we will uh, create an what's encrypt array this will hold uh, this will initialize the encrypt in, encrypted message so wait encrypt encrypt is equal to uh, the characters received by the alpha and then we will pass here the index i plus 3 and then percent um, maximum value so what we have an error pro ah okay and then this one is cannot find symbol encrypt ah okay yeah because we forgot to create a array encrypt protected protected uh, character array called encrypt encrypt and then this will be equal to new uh, car and uh, the, the, the value will be equal to a maximum of 26 character same also for the protected car decrypt method and this will also be an array and new char which is maximum of 26 val uh, characters also inside so next is um, yeah so this is the for loop for making initialization of an encryption uh, object now we will need another for loop for the decryption 
and then i is equal zero and then i is less than our uh variable max and if if still less than if it's true and then increment i and then do decrypt and then uh decrypt and then pass the variable index and then inside the variable index we will pass this one because uh, the, dis the decryption method is a reverse of a way to reverse the uh, encryption ma encrypted message here so this will be equal to a uh, minus our unicode character for the alphabet character a and then equals the alpha and the uh, index will be i we have an error let me check decrypt expected mm -hmm. let me check ah yeah 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 we forgot the right bracket so this is the constructor this will be initialized once we create an object of our uh, class file called Cesar. Now we have we will be needing an encryption method encryption function rather so this will be a public string it will return a string uh, and then we will call this one as uh, encrypt encrypt and then inside this we will pass a string variable called secret and then yeah after that we create a variable character array variable code mess and we will pass our secret uh, string variable here and we'll call the method to character array so the purpose of this method is to make the string messages or convert the string messages into a character arrays and store that messages character arrays into our variable mess okay so uh, after this one we will be needing for loop and then the body so the for loop will be in the same procedure in i is equal zero if i is less than uh, the if i is less than the length of our message character array the length yeah if it's less than the length then increment i increment i and do this so but before we do any further actions we also need to check if the characters inside our character messages variable is uppercase because our encryption method here only works for uppercase letters only so let's call the is uppercase method from the class called character then is upper and then we will pass the uh, mess variable here with the index i okay so if that is true if it is in uppercase then do this one mess i is equal to encrypt encrypt and then encrypt the mess with an index i and then parenthesis and then return the return um new string return new string and then we pass the value here of the mess messages mess here is a short my short term for for messages so this is the function for the encryption and then we will also need to create the decryption method decryption method and we also need to declare a string and then call decrypt and then the body this will also accept a string parameter called secret and then the same is true with 
what we have above but yeah uh, car character array we call this mass is equal to secret dot to character array and then our for loop <coughs> our for loop here will be also uh, int i is equal to zero and if i is still less than the mass dot length and then if that is true then do this but we still need to check if the character is in uppercase then we need to call the method from the character class called is uppercase and then we pass the value mass with an index i oh what is this oh I is less than mass dot length. Ah, we forgot to increment the i. Yeah. So if the the if the characters inside the uh, character mass array is in uppercase, then do this one mass index i is equal to decrypt with uh the creep with same as above with mess and the index i index i but we will detect the unicode value of character array same also this one i think i forgot the unicode value of character array now what is missing is the i think the return statement missing return statement for loop here we will return oops return string uh, new oops new string and then we will pass inside the mass variable so I think this is all we need yeah so Let's go ahead into our main method and try to create an object called Cesar. We will call this one as Cypher equals new Cesar. And then after this one, uh, we will set our original message string um, secret message equals uh, the eagle no the eagle is moving moving meet at the meeting place so this is just for example and then we need to now that we have an object of our uh, Caesar encryption class file we will going to be calling the uh, we calling the the encryption method and the decryption method so in doing that we will um, we will yeah this one we will copy this one is this will be equal to uh, say oops Oops, cypher dot uh, we will do the encrypt first and then parenthesis and then system dot out dot print line and then this will be this will be this one so so I'm going to add a message here so we can see this is an encrypted encrypted message plus secret message now we are going to be needing the original message also so we can see so 
original message will be mm -hmm, uh, secret message will be equal to the cipher dot this one the decrypt method and pass the value of secret message and then print that out system that out the print line oops print line and then we'll pass here this one and uh, this is the decrypted message okay so plus that one and then we need space here yeah okay so we'll try to see if uh, what we have here is uh, working build first then run yeah it does. so here we have the message this is an encrypted message so it is now encrypted you wanna read this one however when we called the decryption method using this line decrypt it is the message is reverted back to the to the original message the eagle is moving meet at the meeting place so how the output of this works is it is using the suppose for example the first character we have is letter T this one is letter T and if we are going to check that into our a uh, alpha character uh, alpha characters this is the letter key T we are going to count 3 1 2 3 so W is reflected here this is because of this uh, initialization here so this represents letter T and then plus 3 so you are going to count 3 variables no 3 characters after it so from T count 1 2 3 so this will be uh, making the T into W so let's also check the character H character H is here and then plus 1 2 3 so letter K will be reflected here so the rest is true with all of the uh, characters that we have here it will be replaced with the characters uh, three characters after it so we can make the we can make the our encryption order here this one uh, scrambled so nobody can read it so this is just an example of an encryption method guys so thank you guys for watching and i hope you learned something